Now to load the coin tubes in an MEI 7512i coin changer, we first need to remove the coin cartridge. I'm gonna use that by this latch right here. I'm gonna lift up on the latch, pull the coin cartridge out. Now labeled here, each tube is labeled for its proper denomination. And we're just going to load the change or drop the coins into the tops of each individual coin tube. So here, uh, C is my quarter tube. So I'm just gonna drop the quarters into the tops of the tubes you know, from this angle. And you can take a roll of quarters, unwrap the quarters from the paper or the plastic, and then just drop all the coins into that tube directly. And once you have the tubes loaded, you're just simply going to put this back into the chassis. You're going to slide it in, put the bottom in first, and then snap it closed. I'm going to show you how to remove a MEI 7512i coin changer. Now these are a little more high-end coin changer. These are actually multiple tubes with a lot of bells and whistles. So, but these are a little bit more complex to remove. You actually have to take the whole thing apart in order to get it off the machine correctly. So again, on this machine, I've turned the power off already. So remove the power from the machine. First thing we do is we're going to disconnect the power cable for the coin changer. Again, top left-hand side is where we find where the coin power cable enters the coin changer. We follow that away from the coin changer until we find its plug-in, which is here. I separate this plug, NDB connection. This is the male side of the coin changer. This is the female side of the NDB plug going to the dollar bill acceptor. And put these out of, out of the way. Now, unlike a lot of other coin changers, on this particular model, these 7512s, you actually have to remove the coin cartridge or the cassette cartridge out of it to really make it easy for you to remove the coin changer. Um, the reason I, I take this all apart is if you're Coin, you cannot lift up on the coin chain to remove it. This actually gets stuck underneath the chute, so I find it's always easier so you don't break anything is to go ahead and always fold down the acceptor. So I'm going to take the cartridge out first. So on the cartridge on these, I'll just lift up on this little piece here, and the cartridge comes right out. Put that down on the ground there. Now, with that out, we can now fold down the acceptor. So on this unit here, over here, this little yellow button right here, I'm gonna press down on that, I'm gonna move it forward, and then I'm going to lift, as a person, I need to lift it, pull it out, then lift it up. So I'm pulling it out, lifting it up. I'm doing that because if you look at the groove assembly here, so this is the groove assembly we gotta follow. We gotta get this guy up and out here. So, just to make it tricky, press down on that little yellow button. I'm pulling it forward, and then it's not gonna let you go any further until you lift up and pull out. And once you've got it pulled out, you have this lovely ribbon cable right here that you need to detach. So once you've got that detached, you can now take the acceptor, get it out of the picture, and then here you're presented with your one, two, back down here, three screws. Now these are a lot harder to get to. This is a little bit more complex coin changer. Again, this is a high-end coin changer, but in order to get everything out properly and not damage your chute or, now if you have a different machine, it may be very easy to pull out. But I like to disassemble these when I'm taking these out just to be on the safe side. Now I've already loosened these screws. Uh, they're either gonna be flat or Phillips head screws or just pegs. And I'm just going to grab the coin changer chassis, lift up, and then detaches itself. And here on the back, you can see one, two, three holes for the mounting points lining up with the one, two, three screws that the coin changer mounts onto. Now to reattach it, do everything in reverse again. So go ahead and get this lined up, get the screws lined up to the chassis, lock it down in place. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab that acceptor and I'm going to plug in the ribbon cable. And this is where the ribbon cable plugs into this little spot right here and it's keyed so I can't plug it in backwards. So I'm just gonna line that up. Now I've got that ribbon cable plugged back in. Now I'm gonna find the groove points here. Again, I'm matching up these groove points. I'm gonna find those groove points, get that tucked in, down. So I'm closed. I've always been always concerned with these. They don't make a nice loud sound when you close it. It's just kind of, just kind of softly locks in place. I'm always not sure if it's actually mounted, but if I pull on it, that's good. And then here, if I go ahead and grab my coin, the chassis, the cassette, put this back in, lock that in place. Now here, I forgot to tuck my cable underneath here. So let me see if I can get this to come out just a hair like that. I'm gonna get this tucked underneath, lock that back in place. 
And here now I can reconnect the power cables. Take the male side of the coin changer, find the female side of the NDB plug that goes to the dollar bill acceptor, connect these two pieces like that, tuck these out of the way. Here I can turn the power back on and this unit will be back in operation. So that's how you remove and install an MEI 7512.